guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Mama said there'll be days like this, there'll be days like this. My mama said, <laughs> Mama said, there'll be days like this, there'll be days like this. My mama said, I went walking the other day, and everything was going fine. Mm. I met a little boy named Billy Joe, not Joel, Billy Joe, and then almost lost my mind. <laughs> Mama said there'll be days like this, be days like this. My mama said, mama said, mama said, mama said, there'll be days like this, there'll be days like this. My mama said. Hi guys, welcome to Bell's Bargains. Ebbingham, did you like that song? Yeah. Oh, Moo Moo said they'll, no, it's not quite the same. All right, Um. hey, I know it's a mom's song and actually we're a week away from that, but I couldn't come up with a Kentucky Derby song. Maybe, yeah. I rode, went through the desert on a horse with no name. Now it comes to me. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, there's mom songs out there. It's so like, why not? Okay, guess what? Today is a Dollar Tree haul. Hi, my name is Amy. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. If you've never been to this channel before, you should know it's a Dollar Tree channel. I do Dollar Tree hauls, crafts, uh, food tasting, and so on and so forth. So today is a Thursday, so it's an odd day for me to have a... Um, I think it's Thursday as I'm saying that. Will this be out on Thursday? I think it'll be out on Thursday. So it's an odd day for me to, to put a haul out. Normally I would do like a Wild Wednesday haul, except that I had craft video yesterday, so didn't do that. So here we are. Let's dive in. Let's see. First of all, let me just tell you, it was $58.50, um, and that was, you know, before tax. So I don't know, what, like 50 items maybe? But of course some of them I buy multiples of. So let's start, I always start in food. I found some fun stuff and I have some great ideas for some of the stuff that I got today. So um, I always start in food. By the way, he was saying that song. Mama said there'll be days like this, there'll be days like this. Mama said, mama said, mama said. The shrouds. Okay, so um, this is, I love this brand. They also do the vegetable chips, the veg, root vegetable chips, like anyway. They're so good, and I eat them with hummus. And I have not seen the plantain chips in a long, long time. I'm actually going to open this and taste them for you right now. I have done them before on a food tasting, so I'm not going to throw this in the food tasting. But these are vegan, suitable for vegans. And so, of course, we're because we're doing the vegan thing. All right, this is what they look like. They look so good. Um, They have, like, a salt to them. Yeah, Pacific. It's not a specific salt. It's a Pacific sea salt. Okay. So it's from the Pacific, I'm guessing. Okay. Anyway. um, And these are really good. So there's not a huge banana taste. There really is in plantains. Um, but um, they're, they're good. So the entire package is 425 calories. But it's got um, three grams of protein. That's not bad, actually. And there's, doesn't look like there's no added sugars, which is super good. And the total fat is like um, 25 grams. That's actually a lot. But how do you, one of them's better fat than the other. Anyway, I don't remember which one it is. Okay, and it's not bad on sodium either. So, all right. So I'm thinking like get a nice, you know, um, I buy vegan cream cheese and put some jelly or something into it. It'd be a nice little sweet little snack if I did that. I bought some fig at Costco. I bought fig um, marmalade. Okay, then um, I think I've already hauled this and we haven't yet tried it, but the Mahatma, not Gandhi. I said that last time too, because I just can't help myself. I, when I say Mahatma, anyway. Okay, so this is um, not a bad buy. Like I went into the grocery store and I was looking at rices that you throw into the, you know, I was looking at them. They're more than a buck 25. 
I don't know if this is good yet because I haven't tried it yet, but um, I saw it again. I was like, oh, I think I'll grab a few more because I can always doctor this up too. And so these are super easy in a pinch for me to put a lunch together for him, put some veggies in it and you know, whatever. Okay. And then um, Idahoan potatoes. Don't call me, it's like effing him, Idaho. I know, it's such a bad joke. Okay. So these are Idahoan and these are Betty Crockers. And I was like, wait, they had other ones there. They had like four cheese and something else, but I just grabbed this one because this is not gonna be vegan. And so I didn't wanna grab a bunch of them. I was really more after the mashed potatoes, but I got one of each so I could show you guys something. Okay, so this is the mashed, original mashed potatoes made with 100% real Idaho potatoes, 6.2 ounce. This is four ounce and it's the sour cream and chives. So obviously I think that these are a much better buy. I can add flavoring, of course, um, but I just wanted to show you. So this is just add milk and butter, which I have vegan milk and I have vegan butter, so I can do that. And then this one is um, also add, where does it say? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, butter and milk, so same thing. All right, so these are out right now and these, I've seen these there before. Every once in a while I've seen the Idahoan, but okay. Anyway, so moving right along from food. That was it in food. Can you believe that? That was like it. Yeah, but I found something for our birthday party. And I was like, wow, these are so perfect. So um, we're doing a birthday party in June. I was sitting here thinking like, oh my gosh, I got to do so many things for it. But it's because Marcus just turned 50. I'm turning 60 in a couple weeks. So we're doing a pool party in June combined. So it's a 50, 60s theme. So I'm trying to buy stuff for that, right? And I found these. What? Yeah, tie-dye. And Marcus is like, isn't that 70s? And I go, no, it's hippies. Hippies were in the 60s. Tie-dye is so perfect. Are these not so cool? So there's 15 in here. I don't know this name brand. Designer plates, uh, there is no, oh, it's Greenbrier. I'm sorry, it is, it's Greenbrier. So, but I had never seen them before. This is a brand new pattern. I only seen them at one store. Thankfully, they had enough. So I bought enough for our party because there's 15 in here, 30, 60. I think I got like 100 plates. Anyway, I was like, oh, yes, please, and thank you. Cute little tie-dye. So 60s, right? You, everybody set Marcus straight. Tell him that's 60s. I mean, I'm not saying tie-dye wasn't also in the 70s, but it was the 60s. Okay, so then let's go down the animal aisle. I found these. We're going to call Jax over. He's going to... He's looking. Ha, ha, ha. Jax, you're so funny. So I found these, and these are Greenbrier Kennel Club, which is something... I haven't seen these before, so I'm pretty sure these are absolutely brand new. These are peanut butter flavored dog biscuits. Now, they're made in the USA. There's five simple ingredients, and the ingredients are, sorry, I was gonna read it. Um, whole wheat flour, wheat middlings. I don't know what those are. Rolled oats, vegetable oil, and natural peanut butter. So it doesn't sound like it's horrible for them. It's not like chicken byproducts, but it's also probably not super good for him. But for me, I get these little treats and that's how I train him in his behavioral. Jack story, do you guys wanna hear my Jack story? Jack's got out. Oh, so I was, I was working in the garage and I had lifted the garage door up just a little bit so I'd get light in there and I don't let him come out there with me because he'll, he'll take off. I mean, even though we're trying to train him, right? But then I brought the ladder in and the only thing I can think is he, as I was pushing the ladder in, he snuck underneath and he took off and I didn't know he was gone. It's typical, I mean, dogs, I get it. And he's at that age, like he's about 14 months old. So this is kind of like the teenage years. And um, somebody rang my doorbell. I was like, oh, thank goodness. But I was like getting upset with him because I was, come here, Jack, do you want one? So when he got back, do you want one? We're gonna give you one of these. When he got back, he was dying of thirst because he had been out running around, Arizona sun. Come here, babies. <laughs> Every time I stand here, come here. Well, you were just knocking on me. Now you don't want to. So he came, does he know what I'm saying? See, I think his dog is smart. So he comes in and he's dying of thirst. I'm like, I was like, you know you were bad, go get water. And he looks at me and he's like, I'm not going to get water. Cause he had to walk by me to go get water. I said, go Jax, it's fine. You gotta go drink, go get your water. Cause he was gonna run outside and drink out of the pool. And I'm like, no, go drink regular water. So anyway, he goes in there and I followed him. I said, now you're in prison for a little bit. You're gonna, you, you stay in here for a little bit. Think about what you've done. So 
I'm like, I don't put a collar on him because I think it's like, it can't be comfortable, right? I feel bad enough for the cat, but that's to save the birds in the neighborhood. But um, I don't put a collar on him and I'm like, I'm gonna have to put a collar on you. Do you want to check the crickets? I mean, the what's, come here. So hold on, I'm gonna grab it. So anyway, I won't, I don't put a collar on him just cause, well, first of all, like it could get caught on something if we're not home and when I just worry about it irritating him and he's chipped, right? So I'm like, if you think you're running out in that neighborhood and get yourself lost, I'm gonna have to put a collar on you. Okay, so these are the, let's do, you guys should see his tail just going. He's here. I know, boys, I know. Okay, ready? Do you wanna dance? Dance, you can't dance. He's trying to, he wants to dance. Okay, go, you can have it, you can have it. All right, I think he's gonna like those. So um, that's just for, in the almost every morning, we do a little training session. Dance, sit, lay down, trying to do shake, you know, whatever. And I'm trying to teach him heal and whatever. I don't spend a whole bunch of time doing it. He'd be way better behaved dog probably if I did. But, well, he likes them. He's crunching that away. Okay, so then I've also got these on the cat aisle because I'm doing that cat tree, which I'm going to finish up um, this week. So I got it just painted and then add the rest of the apparatus stuff on there. And the cat loves this cat tree. So the cat jumps onto this one ledge. He jumps, I know this is horrible, but he jumps up on the kitchen counter and then jumps onto this one ledge on the big ladder cat tree. So anyway, so he's loving that and I'm gotta finish it up. because then. Oh, really? I should see what he does when I'm not here? Mm, lays on the counter. I am not surprised. But you know what? Um, I I disinfect my counter every morning, so I'm not too worried about it. And this is because we feed him up here because the dog will eat his cat his wet cat food if we don't. Okay, but that we're just horrible people. All right, down the uh, hair aisle. You guys know why I get these, right? Because I use them every year for Easter Bunny tails, and I can't find them except on these barrettes. So when I see the Bretts, I just picked up one each to throw in my Easter stash for Easter bunny tails because you know I love to do colored bunny tails because I think it's so cute. All right. And then this is an item I haven't seen in forever and I was so happy to see it again and I found it in white. Now, I have purchased this before just for the beads. These are beautiful, small wood beads that, and I love this sort of uh, tannish, mustardish color. And now they have it in the white. So for a buck twenty-five, I'm just buying these for the beads, literally. Then I was thinking I should keep the wire because the wire would make really cute handles, like on a jar lantern thing, because I could, you know, it's a heavier wire. So maybe I'll do that. But I don't see. It's been months since I've seen these, so I grabbed two of each. All right. Then on the health and beauty aisle, oh my gosh, I had already hauled this a couple of weeks ago. It's amazing this bio blender and it's for cleaning your face and it's a it's an it's a biodegradable sponge and it's for exfoliating cleaning your face with facial cleaners right best with facial cleaners okay so it's cleaning well then i found this one i was like wait what so they have a body cleanser one too i only found one so i'm gonna open it up and show it to you but so the body cleanser the great thing about these you guys is that they are biodegradable. So after you've used them, I think they recommend 30 days, replace every 30 days. If I could find more of these, I would definitely buy more. Um, and I just, yeah, so there's that. So the Bio Blender, which is a biodegradable, um, you know, Eco Tools. It's by Eco Tools, which is a brand name. These are expensive. Sharon already put the price down for the other ones last time, but I don't remember what it was but now she can look up the body scrub. So these are such an incredibly good find at the Dollar Tree. All right, so yep, replace every 30 days. So face and body. Okay, that was it on the health and beauty aisle. I know, right? Mm, shocking. Um, and then I was walking past all of the, the bags, the gift wrapping stuff, and I saw these and I just thought this iridescence was so cool. So I'm going to be really honest. I bought them just so I could put them inside a jar and then put a solar light in there and see what it looks like at night. I'll tell you what, I will try and remember to do it at the end of this video so you guys can see it. If it works and it's going to become one of my jar things for my Jarganza. And if you don't know what Jarganza is, you need to watch this video right here. This is Jarganza. 
volume one, the black and white series. I'm hoping to get the natural series out next week. Um, it is, it, it, they just take a lot of time. So there's gonna be three volumes at least of Jarganza and that's volume one. And so I am keep looking at things to do in jars and I just thought, we'll see. I'm gonna put that at the end of the video. I will throw that in there. Okay, then Mother's Day is coming up. So I grabbed something I'm gonna send off to my daughter. So I've got to mail that actually today. And um, this is, no, I have a week, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna, I need to get it mailed off today. But anyway, they have these really nice little socks with the, the no, um, the no slip, non slip stuff on the bottom of them. Anyway, I got this for Emma. It just says best mom ever for my daughter. Best mom ever. I got her a card that says, daughter, you're looking funny, smart, and you're remarkable, and you have remarkable parenting skills. The family resemblance is amazing. Happy Mother's Day. Anyway, so I got her a card and whatnot. And then I just thought it all started because I saw this bag and I was like, yeah, I have to. So, <laughs> Mama, mommy, mom, bra, hashtag mom life. That's just like so Emma. Do you remember that the cartoon that was years ago now? Mom, mom, mommy, mommy. <laughs> and he's standing at the edge of the bed. So it made me think of that, but the bra, like bra, like mom, mama, bra. Like, yeah. Okay, so bra, not bra, bra. Hi, Amy, you can say it so many different ways. Okay. Then, so I'm going to send you that off too. We're just a cute little, I love you, happy Mother's Day. So on the sock aisle though, I saved these because this is a short little haul. But holy buckets, I don't even know you guys. Like this is insane. Fruit of the loom, fruit of the loom. Three to five years, 10 pairs of socks. That's 12 cents a pair. Like, come on people. This is, and these could be for boys or girls because they're cute little short socks like you would wear with tennis shoes. Fruit Loom, 10 pairs. Yeah. Obviously marketed towards boys, but whatever. I was like, oh my gosh. It says toddler boys actually on the back, but yeah. Okay. So I was like, wow, that's an incredible buy. I will give them to somebody. So there's that. And then I found these. And these are Danskin six pairs. Check these babies out. Obviously for girls. Okay. I shouldn't say, I can't say that because somebody will say something, but you know what I mean. And these doesn't have a price on them, but you know it was more than a buck twenty-five. I mean, these are incredible. Now, for those of you that watch, you know that December fourth is National Sock Day, and Amy is collecting socks to give away on National Sock Day. And maybe I'll just add these into it. Um, but this is insane. This is an insane amount of socks for a buck twenty-five. I'm trying to think of who I know with a toddler boy. I don't know anybody with a toddler boy right now. But I could donate it too. I mean, at Christmas time, see that something like this. At Christmas time, churches do these things, you know, things that kids need. Come on. Yeah. I mean, for both of these things, actually. Total great donations. All right. Then um, let's get into the final things that I purchased, which were crafting and some decorative. So let's go right into seasonally. These are new this year. Mm -hmm. So I grabbed it. Now here's why I grabbed it. Scarlet graduates next year. And I was like, you know, when I want one, it won't be there. So I was like, forget it, I'll just grab it now because it doesn't say a year or anything on it. And I'm gonna clean it up and decorate it up a little bit more and whatnot and make it all cute for her. So I grabbed one of those for Scarlet's graduation for next year. And then, I don't know why this was there. Somebody please tell me why. Tell me why, I don't know. It's a Christmas charger, but I love it. Do you not love this? I think it's so pretty. I can't wait to Mod Podge something on here or I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Or make it a, oh, it'd make a really cool, cool riser, wouldn't it? Um, I just don't know. But I, why is it out there now? Like just did not get unpacked for Christmas? I don't know. So I grabbed one to add to my Christmas stash. And then um, the summer stuff is out. And so I just grabbed these. I don't remember these from last year, but who knows? So first of all, I'm in love with these drink markers. Absolutely in love with them, but mostly for like tear tray decoration, right? I just think they're so cute. So they are a, they, you know, they mark a glass cause you put it on the rim. See how they have like a slit in them. So you put it on the rim. So you know which glass is yours, right? 
but I'm gonna use them just as faux decoration as little fruits and I'll put them in something so you can't see the slit. All right, and then these. And I don't remember these from last year, you guys. I don't think they were out. All right, so we have the pineapple, we have the lemon, and we have the watermelon. I don't know if there's any more. These are the only three I saw, and the only reason I purchased them was basically for the beads. I mean, that's not true, but I just, yeah. I always end up using them, always. I mean, like, always end up using them. I just did a 4th of July tear tray. By the way, if you wanna see that one, there's that video, 4th of July tear tray, it's super cute. And I used the fourth of one of the 4th of July ones. So one of the things on these, you guys, just remember, they make these pretty long, but you don't have to do that. You can cut this down. You can, you know, you can remove some of the beads, make it shorter. I always think their tassels are too long and cut those. I often add more ribbon to their tassels and cut it shorter. Like there's things that you can do with these. You don't have to leave it the way it is. Super cute if you put it around a big jar and then you have enough slack in it that you can just twist it around the jar like that. I mean, there's all kinds of ideas. So just as a summer decoration, um, if you're having a party and you had a handle of alcohol too, just to wrap this around it. So lots of fun ideas with their tassels. So again, it was the lemon, the pineapple, and the watermelon. Let me know if anybody has seen any more. I have not. So there's your watermelon, pineapple, and lemon. So it's interesting. The lemon is yellow and white. The pineapple, yellow, white, and the green. And the 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 watermelon is the, the red, the green. And this is so Christmas, is it not? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's actually probably what I'll end up doing is like totally making it a Christmas garland. Okay, so there you go, which is a great idea, by the way. If you see these, maybe pick up a few of these to make a really cute Christmas. Why didn't I think of it then? Always happens to me. Okay, and the final thing I picked up just because I was like, wait, there's a chimney. And then I was like, no, I think I picked up something else that had a chimney on it, but it wasn't this sturdy. I love their block pieces, like their, you know, freestanding whatever's. And I mean, this is so cool, right? So they had white and the brown and there's a chimney on it. No need to add your chimney, they have one on it. So this would be so easy to make double-sided for a tear tray, absolutely perfect. Just, yeah, it's perfect. All right, that's it, you guys. That was my haul, so some fun stuff. What cool finds though, right? I mean, those socks are incredible. My plates, my favorite thing from this haul actually because it's gonna go out in the tote that's in the garage that we're collecting all the birthday stuff in. So favorite thing from today was that. What was your favorite thing? Please list it down below. And um, Jax loves these, so voila. And oh no, there's these too. Like, oh yeah, mm. Okay, so lots of good things. The charger, the socks. I mean, the socks is actually probably, the socks and these are just the two top buys for sure. Okay, but also I would like to say, I think this for a buck 25 is incredible, right? So, I mean, this thing is a pound of doggy cookies. Basically, they're doggy cookies, right? If you think about it that way, because it's like flour and peanut butter, they're doggy cookies. But a buck 25, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, everybody, have a great day, a great week, and a great life. What did I sing? Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this, my mama said. Mm -mm. When you go to your Dollar Tree and you can't find what Amy has. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> yeah, guys. All right, everybody from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, besties. Wait, I'm going to insert this for you.